Welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to do um, soft body simulations in Blender. We're going to be covering it absolutely basic, no complicated stuff, just adding in some spheres, adding the right settings and I'll even add these quick little materials in the end. Um, it's just a ton of fun and um, it's something that you might not have done before so keep watching and I'll show you how to um, get into soft body simulations in Blender. We're going to be using Blender 4.2. So we're going to approach this really simple. Let's just jump into Blender. I'm using Blender 4.2 at this time and I'm going to select all the default objects and just press delete so we have a fresh clean scene to work with. Um, we're then going to go ahead shift A. Let's get our mesh options. Let's just add in a plane. With this plane active let's just press S4 and hit enter to scale it up four times. Then we're going to go shift A and we're going to go to our mesh options and this time we're going to add in an icosphere. Um, it's different than a sphere in a sense that it's a triangle added mesh with a whole bunch of interlocking triangles that make a sphere. And you can come here to the add icosphere and then take the subdivision amount up. So we're going to just go up one level here just for a start. We're going to go G, Z and move this guy up. So it's sitting on the floor. So now let's grab our floor. So we want Blender to know that the floor is something we want to interact with. So we're going to go over to our physics tab. We're going to click on collision. And now our floor has the ability to collide with our simulated mesh that we're going to make in a second. So let's select that um, icosphere. Let's right click by the way and just go shade smooth. And now under our physics tab, let's go ahead and click on um, soft body here. Okay. And if you were to go to your timeline and come to frame one and hit the space bar, you're going to see it just kind of bobs around. And that's what will happen by default. So what you want to do is you want to come over here to this one here called goal and you want to untick that. Then if you go to frame one and you hit the space bar, you're going to see it falls. So we're going to go over here and enable this thing called self collision. Now when we do that and we go to frame one now and we play it, it's going to be slower because now it's taking into account the calculations for itself. It's going to interact with itself and now it's not going to fold in and overlap and it looks a lot more realistic. Um, but at the moment it's like very, um, very placid it's just kind of collapsing so what we can do we can come over here to our edges and over here are some settings here now um, we're not going to look at all of them the basic ones you want to look at here are the pull push and the bending now the bending is a big one so if we take that up to like 0.2 for example we go back to frame one and hit the space bar now all of a sudden you're going to see this is a lot more rigid so if we took this like up to one and then we want to frame one and press the space bar you're going to see it's almost completely inflated. So this is actually a cool way of making like a beach ball. So you can see here, I'm bouncing it around using the plane. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's besides the point. It's just of really a lot of things you can make with this just by how you mess around with these settings. So let's go with something, I think like 0.17 for now. And um, you can also sometimes mess around with the push and pull. Um, the lower you bring them, so if we make this point free, um, you're probably going to get a little bit more bounce. The higher you bring them, the stiffer this is going to be. Um, but let's just, I think, leave them at point four for now. Should be fine. Okay, so another cool thing we can do is we can go to frame one and go shift D to duplicate. Duplicate another one and put it on top. And if we now hit the space bar, you're going to see they'll go right through each other. So what you can actually do, and this is really cool and very simple, is just select the one underneath it. Simply go to your physics. And just like we did with the floor, you can add a collision. So now it's going to do two things at the same time. It's going to collide with the sphere underneath. So if we go to frame one and we hit the space bar, boom, look at that. Now we've got these two jelly blobs falling in each other. How satisfying is that? So let's now quickly go ahead and select this one here. Let's go to our cache and we're just going to bake this into our scene. So let's just make this 50 or 70 frames and let's go ahead and bake that the first one. Then let's grab the second one and make that 70 frames as well over here. And let's go ahead under the cache and bake that. So now if you wanted to change anything, you'd have to delete the bake and make a change. But now it's kind of baked into our scene here. How cool is that? So what we're going to do is we're also going to select these guys and just go and give them under the modifiers a subdivision surface modifier. Let's grab this one. And let's go and give that a subdivision surface as well. And now we have this. So let's say you wanted to render this out. You can just go to frame, um, I mean, go to your front orthographic and just go shift A, add in a camera and move it back like so. 
and then just position it wherever you want. There we go. Maybe move it back a bit and then go to your render settings, change it to cycles. And if you have a GPU, you could always enable that. And then maybe make the max sample something like 50. And I'm just gonna save this to my desktop. And let's just go shift A, add in an aerial light and just move it over to the side, rotating it. Let's give it a strength of 200 and just make the size bigger under the light properties here. So now if we go Z and go rendered, this is what we have, okay? So you can duplicate this light as many times as you want, position them around to get the desired kind of lighting you're looking for. Maybe have some coming from the back for some nice rim lighting. But what we're gonna do now is just select one of these spheres, go to our materials, go new. Let's just go to the base color here and go to checker texture over here. And then let's just take the first color here and make it blue and the second color, let's make that a nice kind of yellow. Let's drag up the, down the roughness here to make it more reflective. And then let's grab the bottom one, come to the drop down and give it that same material. And this time we're just gonna click on a little two here to make it unique. And then we'll make the top color maybe like a bit of an orange color. And now we have this kind of cool thing here. You can also go to your render settings up here, enable motion blur. So you have some nice motion blur. So now, um, you know, do whatever you want with the surrounding scene. Um, be as creative as you want. But now you can go ahead and render this out, you know, as an animation. And I've covered how to render things out as animations heaps of times. So I won't cover it in this video, but um, that's the basics of making a fun little um, soft body simulation in Blender. So I'll see you guys next time and thank you for watching.